what the the Seattle Space Needle looked like, and that was kind of the most prominent feature that he was able to identify um, as the as the ship was approaching um, this planet. Another it was a wholly another planet, and that this tower um, not only you know in, like, let us show us your planet. Light. He's like, are we in <laughs> Seattle? They're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, uh, but this tower he also described was surrounded by what seemed to be some type of like aura of shifting colors um is what he described now let's um, also not forget that carl is fucking tripping his balls because he took true. some weird space pill. It's, on a, it's on a four day <laughs> space pill that's lasting four days yeah some space pe- peyote <laughs> um so carl remembers that the craft was put down and landed uh in front of the tower and i think he estimated somewhere around 150 feet and that carl was escorted inside by the two beans but they didn't walk that they floated everywhere that they just kind of you know you know float them <laughs> as you do um and yeah when you're high as fuck yeah <laughs> you can go anywhere you want at that point <laughs> and um so here inside this building inside this tower uh facility whatever um I, I believe that he was either subjected to an additional one or this might have been actually when um the 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 examination occurred but he does remember saying like they kind of put him in what was like a um like a, he remembers some type of wall coming down uh some type of a a barrier of some type type as they, as they brought him in and he was still kind of unable to move of his own accord. Um, but he says that, he, you know, perhaps this was some type of like scanning because he remembers being in there for like a couple of minutes, what he estimated. Um, so you actually, you actually gave me a kind of an interesting thought there when you said, when you just said like, at that point you could go anywhere. It made me think that maybe whatever he took was some sort of like consciousness opening, opening drug. And that maybe his physical self never left. Right. But he, he went on a trip with these people, but it was like, uh, you know, on, on some different plane of existence. If you take uh, this pill, you can access this eth- ethereal plane mm-hmm. and travel across <laughs> like the it, galaxy. It just, it's kind of blink. Uh, I like so, that. Yeah, it, well, it, it does line up with a couple of things that happened. So I'm, I was kind of like, oh, maybe. Maybe this all has to do with something about this pill. It's just an intergalactic trip is what this is. <laughs> What, or it just like releases trip. your consciousness for four days. Like this will last four days before we got to like so you unbind you from this earthly realm. Yeah. Or, you, travel or your earthly vessel, right? <laughs> your, your third dimensional plane of existence uh, for four so, days, for four for, of your earth days. Earth right. days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's also, now that I think about it, like, how do they know, like, three of your, yeah, why do you not, it didn't specify what days, so what if they're, what if the orbit Then he landed and said, how you doing? I know. Right? So, like, obviously they got some knowledge. What's Um, going on here? So, this, um, as the, after the the scanning, is what uh, Carl kind of described it as, or he assumed it was happening, um, the the, the Ozo-1 came back and and took charge of him, and, and brought him along and kind of started to tell uh, or at least relay to Carl as to why um, like the purpose of his visit, why he was on earth. And so according to also one, um, they had his race had been coming to earth in search of fish and animals. And specifically the, like these fish and animals that they would retrieve, he said that they would use to make these pills, um, which he had given Carl some, and that these pills were designed to like, satiate hunger for like three to four days that's what you're supposed to do and what's the bean in fucking dragon ball Senzu Senzu beans. Beans. Senzu beans. Senzu beans. Yeah. basically so, yeah. but the thing one of the interesting things of note is is that as a one had told carl that these last a little longer than what the pill actually lasted for carl which means that we have fast we metabolize these pills that they make like they're obviously not made for us, so we metabolize whatever this is faster. So it, I was kind of thinking, how do like, you know that though? Was he hungry? Yeah, he he was feeling hungry. Like he he was told it would last X amount of days, and it was actually quicker until he was like 
he felt hungry. When was he? When did he, when did we say like I don't I missed just that. one of the articles he said he was hungry. It's probably it was like two days art- or something like that after he left the hospital. Oh, like, okay. okay. Like and and he was like, so I don't he, think he ate while he was in the hospital. Like, no, yeah. he, Well, I remember reading he didn't eat for days. Right. Yeah, and it was he he noted that it lasts like for him. Well, it's either he, that or how do you how do you know that there was a missing time while he's on the ship? Well, that, th- to be honest, that's part of the what I was wondering too. If this is some sort of time dilation thing, where he's gone, he's back, he's been gone for days, but for us here, he he's been gone for minutes, right, or something like that. I wasn't yeah, that's sure. what makes sense to me. Because right? because you would think that they would like everything that he's saying to Carl would be with in human standards, right? If he's gone as far as like, they study these people, they know the language he's going to know, you know, you know, he's going to be putting this in human terms, I would imagine. Right. Right. Yeah. He's going to present himself in a way, say if he's not a physical being, he's going to present himself in a way that we would understand and be able to react with. He could, he couldn't give himself some more teeth. (laughs) (laughs) They Um, got, they got the wrong picture from the internet. He he could only (laughs) render three teeth. (laughs) Um, so, really uh, upscale in his whatever's listen, going on here. Where are they? Where? How south are they? He he's Wyoming? like might be a lot. Wyoming? Like, it's north. Wyoming? It's Wyoming. Yeah, he's like oh, he's like seven twenty p upscaling to ten eighty p. That's what it is. Basically. It's filling in. And he's like this doesn't look right. <laughs> Um, so also one was telling Carl that they, they had to come to earth because their, their ocean of their planet, he described it as being yellow. Like their ocean is yellow on their planet and that all the fish within that ocean have died. So they had to go to earth. And I think they might've, not, they might not have just said not just earth. Like there were other plants that they were going to, that they had to retrieve resources, uh, from, uh, so I also went went forward to show Higdon an actual map of their planet, showed him on some type of display, and, and told him specifically that they were 163,000 light miles, light miles from Earth. What the and fuck is a light mile? That's pretty much what Carl asked him. <laughs> because Carl, Carl, you know, is aware that he's like, he, he said that, you know, he... he Asked also, like, do you mean light years um, is what you're referring to in, in terms of, di- you know, measure of distance. And the the kind of, I also apparently kind of like waved him off and just kind of been like, the passage of time is different. No, is yeah, he he's like, he's like, listen, America won. We use Imperial <laughs> everywhere. All right. In the future. <laughs> Imperial uh, everything. Right. <laughs> so the light mile would be the distance that light. Travels in a mile. In a Everyone mile. knows that's like three point five light kilometers. One point six right. light kilometers. One point six. One, well, yeah, one point six. I <laughs> mixed up the conversion there. It's confusing. Um, so one hundred sixty-one thousand light miles. One hundred sixty-three thousand light 60. miles from Earth. So okay, so it's like not that it, in, rel- in terms of light years, it's not that far. Is what we're saying here, or maybe probably further, not. Though. Well, because light, cause light if, what well, if lights traveling at. Was it almost three hundred thousand kilometers per second? Yeah, That's, you're getting huge. huge oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. So, but a light year would be multi billion or trillions of what right. kilometers? So a light mile would be maybe just like a couple star systems over. Yeah, I mean, he also, I mean, he also says like the passage of time is different. So it's like it's not like I well, guess, I guess like it he depends can't use how big your star like, is. Yeah, maybe and... he does have to use miles as opposed to like he's not using well, it, a like year. Well, as we said, like how he speaks and looks, he's just he's just using miles just for Carl himself, right? Um. So after this, Carl remembers, um, you know, under under hypnosis later, he would recall actually seeing other what appeared to be other human beings there he recall he recalled seeing what? at least like two young girls uh, uh one around 11 and one in her early teens mm. he said he saw a teen couple that was probably about 18 years of age and then also an older man in their in his probably about his 50s is what he so has now when I'm, when I'm reading it didn't uh, didn't describe these other people he's seen as only having like the big buck teeth no, Sorry, these man. were humans. Like he, regular human he could people. see. Yeah, um, so, so you these got were a weird humans. crew. You got a weird crew on the ship. Yeah. Two young girls, fucking, eleven year old, a couple eight, a bunch year old, of fucking a fifty year old, and five elk. Like, it's a weird yeah. crew. <laughs> right. Well, this was this was in the facility. This is on the planet. Like the you weird, saw these ones like while they're in the thing. The weird thing about the humans that Carl accounts under again under regression is that like they weren't shocked. They didn't really talk to him. They weren't. 
Like they, well, they didn't, didn't even notice him. They didn't even seem surprised, upset. Like they were just going about business, like business yeah. as usual kind of thing. So he kind of speculated that these might be androids, but I kind of thought right away. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.